What's up everybody? Welcome to Pigeon City, the only city whose indigents are called villages. I am Sister Edem, your Sunday evening chubby cheeked delight. Nah, you can't stifle the cheeks. They are there. Welcome back to Pigeon City. I know that you've already seen the title and you're already anticipating what this is about. It is about Obwase. Okay, if you do not know what this whole Obwase this thing is, welcome to life after 30. <laughs> you're old. <laughs> right, so I'm going to share with you five lessons that I have learned from this whole Obwase Buhaha. Let's start. Lesson number one. There are two sides to every story. I'm holding the sheet of paper because it is damn warm in here and my points are on it. It works both ways. So, Obwase is... The whole Obwase hashtag came about because a certain lady said she was going to go to Obwase to claim what her ex-boyfriend owed her, the money that he owed her and that he had been unfair to her in their relationship. He had been, uh, she had spent so much money on him and he had also borrowed money from her and she was going to go to Obwase and it sounded like she was going to go like, bleep, better have my money, pay me what you owe me, you know, that kind of, that kind of vibe, right? But... There are people who came to the guy's defense and there are things flying out there proving that, you know, the guy was so distraught because she was the one who hurt him, broke up with him and stuff like that. And he was so hurt that he even wanted to commit suicide. And there's, you know, there, there are posts, previous old, old posts uh, uh, detailing that, you know, she was also not the best uh for his mental health because of the way she treated him and that this new lady was kind of like a saving grace in his you know time of distress and there's there are two sides to every story that's what i have learned i have been accused of practicing only one kind of um, exercise that's jumping jumping to conclusions so this is also this whole positive story goes to buttress that do not do not in my life don't jump to conclusion. There are two sides to every story. And to think that there is a whole community of Facebook out there, it tells you how little you know about anything. There are communities on Facebook, people who are so invested. Like after 30 people, you don't even know the half of it. I'm telling you, it's deep. It's deep. People are digging out there and, and they know stuff. Look, I, I think I should change this point. Not two sides to every story. There are a billion sides to every story. And it's better you stay out of it than try to understand it. That's the lesson I've learned. Lesson number two. Time is not stopping for anyone, so don't you stop for anyone. You know, when things happen, this is what I've come to realize. When things happen, um, things that hurt you, things that uh, maybe you go through something like a betrayal between you and a friend, uh, a church, you know, a church executive, a husband or whatever it is, there's a tendency for you to cower and want to stop everything and just brood. But I've learned that you shouldn't do that because that's in, in the bitterness breeds and then you just turn into this person that is so unpleasant that nobody wants to hang out with. So when you agree to move with someone, time is not stopping, okay? So you agreeing to be with somebody doesn't mean that you're stopping your life for them. You're just agreeing to move your lives together at the same time, like in the same direction, okay? So when that should come to a stop, it doesn't mean that you should, that relationship comes to a stop doesn't mean that you should come to a stop. Keep moving because time is not waiting for you. The ultimate is time. It is not people <laughs> around you. The ultimate is time and time is not waiting for anybody. And we must also not wait. If something between you and somebody is not working out, fine. That is the situation. But don't stop. Keep on moving. Move. Move. <laughs> Number three. This is what I've learned, Charlie. It may be in vogue, but is it necessary? All these things on social media, posting this, saying that. Let's first start with your save the date and your wedding invitation. I'm sorry if you've done this or if you intend to do it, but I think it's retarded. 
save the date is for people you are inviting to your wedding to block that date on your calendar so are you inviting the entire facebook i don't i don't get it the people who amaze me the most are people who put other people's facebook uh other people's uh, uh what's it called uh invitation on their status on facebook are you inviting them for the people what's going on look there's nobody who is going to see your invitation on facebook and because they were once a close friend that you forgot to invite we say oh she's getting married i saw on facebook let me go look they will not come even those who you invited is covid that's my new excuse <laughs> well come i promise invite me <laughs> and then putting your business out there like going to rant on on facebook or on twitter or whatever look i have decided to myself the only rant i'm going to pass participate in is a restaurant because there's food there and i'll be filled thank you very much it's like standing in a church on a corner of a street in a trotro and blurting out your business that's what it's like venting on social media there are people who are just passing by who don't care there are people who may know you and may say that why what's wrong and there's this that person that will just like your rant <laughs> is it worth it is it worth it like i've come to learn that it ain't worth it putting all your business on social media it may be in vogue but is it necessary you argue it out in the comment section let's see who win <laughs> all right so number four i leave it to god but I leave it to God, people. Okay, you've left it to God. But why are you micromanaging God? I've come to know that, you know, your enemies are not going to fall. They are going to be enjoying life, right? The people that you think did you bad, that lazy, uh, uh, your master son who was so lazy or your your st wicked stepsister or whatever, you're going to be married. They are going to have their own homes. You thought that many are fair shape, but yeah, the house is going to be nice and it's going to be clean. Contrary to what you are thinking, if you're going to sit around and wait for things to go bad for the people, if that's what you're expecting to bring you joy, Adam, it ain't going to work. Go and work on your own joy. Move. Move. Look, the, the crux of today's whole talk is move because life is not waiting for anybody. Okay? If you are supposed okay you are right they stole from the company or whatever it is and then you the innocent one you know they keep getting bonuses and you the innocent one nothing is happening for you or whatever your joy is not going to come from them going down it's going to come from god lifting you up because once again if you stay in that state it's just bitterness that's just going to be brewing up in you brings me to point four hurt people hurt people to so take good care of yourself so that nobody comes along and hurts you to the point that you're so hurt that you carry on the tradition of hurt people, hurt people. Thank you so much. This is my five lessons from Obwasi Bohaha. And do you know any further details that you can put in the comments for the over 30 people who have no, I still have no idea what I'm talking about when I say Obwasi. And did you learn anything as well from this whole thing? What do you think social media is turning us into these days? Let me know in the comment section. But the thing about not posting everything or not posting your wedding invitation, if there's anybody who wants to defend it, go ahead and defend it. I mean, this is just my opinion. This is something that I have learned. It's retarded. That's what I think. Alrighty, that's it for Pigeon City today. I am Sister Adam. Thank you so much for joining me again. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. Please share and get someone else to subscribe because you're being selfish by being here all by yourself and it's just nice to share sharing is caring right Alrighty. bye villagers i am so sweaty right now actually no idea